Okay, we're practicing today, and we are going to practice um, uh, a new skill. So oftentimes in the ring, now we just have three right here, but sometimes you have really big classes, and they're lined up side by side, and you've got like several cows over here, and you have several cows over here, and you have one cow, you know, some cows in the middle, and sometimes those cows act up, or they get they get in a really funky position, and you're going to have to get them out of line and back in line. Well... You don't want to walk in front of the judge and your options are to like say if if princess was getting fussy she would have to walk her all the way up here take a big circle like a figure eight go all the way in the back and come back around and when you have an animal that doesn't like to walk that could take a long time and if your animal's not lined up the judge can't isn't going to look at you um that's not true I, i'll take that back if you're constantly moving your animal, the judge is less likely to, to be able to study your animal because your, your animal is always on the move. Um, another thing, like so say if Apache's acting up and the line is way over there, like at that little dog food bowl, she may have to walk all the way around that dog food bowl and back in line. And again, that's a lot, that's a lot of work to do. So especially for an animal who doesn't like to walk. So we're working on um, a skill here. Now, Anna's already practicing it. Go ahead and back him up. Okay, now you're going to go in front of him and turn him in a circle. There you go. So she's actually going to back him up out of line and turn him in a circle and get him back into line. Um, Avery, can you be ring steward and help push Rooster? Because Rooster is not one who likes to walk. If you haven't seen our video on how to teach your animals to back up, um, do that. <laughs> Go watch our video. It's super important. All right, Allie, let's see if you can get Princess working on her backup. It's super important to teach your cows how to back up um, by verbal commands. So a lot of them, ours, know how to back up just by verbal commands. And some of them don't. Now, Allie, you've got enough space to go the other way. Go ahead and just go the other way with her. There you go. Because if we're in the middle of the show, you don't want to be running into other cows or other heifers. Avery, will you please be ring steward? I know, but she's probably not going to want to walk anyway. Um, you don't. You definitely don't want to be running into other animals. So if you can't get them into a really good position to walk in front of them and turn them in a circle, just walk the other way. <laughs> Stay calm, Al. Okay, and she's having to make a pretty sharp turn there. And this just takes a lot of practice for the cow and the animal and the child and the showman. All right. Good job, Al. Give her scratches. She did a great job. Okay. There we go. Good job. And now she can walk out of line and turn in a circle. I will say that if an animal, if you're needing to get her out of line to get her set back up because she's acting up, Backing up may not work out too well. Um, at home, very few, they don't really act up as much as they do in the show ring. Apache hasn't been in the ring yet, and neither has Rooster, so they may act up. We don't know. They get really nervous um, when they get in the show ring sometimes. So, so that's a skill that we're working on, backing up whenever we're lined up side by side, and then making the circle um, behind the line and um, out of, the, out of the, the view of the judge, not to... Not to where the judge can't see you, but so you don't get in between the judge and other animals. That's not good showmanship. Um, you want every animal to get an equal amount of opportunity in front of the judge. Okay, so that is our new skill that we're working on. And hopefully, um, hopefully we won't have to use it in the ring. But if we do, hopefully it works well.